Hey guys, it is the end of the month, which means that it's time to do another monthly nerdgasm. I have a lot to go through this month, so I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start. So here we go. First of all, this shirt I got from my best friend Doran. She saw this shirt and it just, it's just fucking, it's Winnie the Pooh in Pokemon style. So that's, that's the first thing I just want to show you because I'm wearing it. Um, but I want to start with this month's collector's call. I wasn't going to do an entire video about it because I already opened it and there is not that much in here. So I just wanted to do it in the monthly nerdgasm real quick. It's a really big box. We're gonna, we're gonna go quick. We're gonna go fast. Um, first of all, my lights aren't on. That's very depressing. There we go. It's the Spider-Man box. It has, obviously, as usual, a Spider-Man patch and pin in there. We all know how that goes. They always do that. They're cute. Next month, Doctor Strange in the box. Super excited. Then, as usual, there is a amazing Spider-Man Collector's Core Edition comic book in here. Woohoo! Because um, it's a Spider-Man box. They did an exclusive fabrication of the new Spider-Man. I've never had a fabrication, so I'm really happy about it. And um, I think it's an exclusive. I'm not sure. Is it? Whatever. Oh, it is. It's an exclusive. So there's that. Cool as hell. Then um, there is a really, really cool cap in here. It has the Funko Spider-Man on it. It has a thingy. It has the bottom of the cap says Marvel Pop. And um, the back has a little spider on it. Really, really cool cap. These caps do not suit me. Also, I'm wearing a ponytail. So now I just look very gangster. The last thing in the box is um, this exclusive Marvel Collector's Core Pop. It has a see-through stand, which means that it looks like it's floating, which I think is really cool. And um, yeah, it is the first Spider-Man pop that actually looks really cool. I have another Spider-Man pop and it just looks like buttholes. So I'm happy this exists and I'm happy I have it because it's exclusive. Whoop. I actually have to go pick up something. I'll be right back. <laughs> I forgot. Hi, <laughs> I'm back. I had to grab something um, from the washing because it just got washed and I want to show it. So <laughs> right. Um, next up, I want to talk about, since we're in the Marvel zone, I was at CoxCon last month. Whew! I ran a bit fast. Um, at CoxCon, <laughs> I met a fan slash friend of mine called Dr. Twisticles, who is a really cool guy. You should check out his YouTube. He is the sweetest, the sweetest British dude. He loves he loves Pokemon, he loves video games, and um, you should check him out. I'll link him. He came up to me and he brought every one of us a gift, which was so cute. And he got me this Deadpool Metal Pop, a uh, Pop figurine. And it is really cool because it's actually made out of 100% metal. It's pretty heavy. And yeah, I just, I just really, I just really like it. So I'm gonna take this out of the case actually, because I want this to be on display somewhere. So here it is. It's really detailed. I only just noticed that. Um, it has uh, the little knife, it has the katanas on the back, and the belt, and everything is really detailed on this figurine. I really, really like it. I'm just gonna put it someplace. So thank you so much for that, Dr. Twisticles. That is the coolest thing. I, I've never really received an in real life gift from someone at an event, so that's so sweet, so sweet, I love it. Next up, I have a shitload of shirts. Now, I already showed you this one. Um, last month, I think, or the month before that, the Yeti.com, which is a website I order my shirts from, had their uh, anniversary action thing um, where you could get like a shirt for three, a random shirt for three dollars, I think. And I got five of them because I don't even know why I wanted to, so I did. And um, the shirts I got are this time actually really cool. First of all, I got this Peanut Butter Gamer shirt. Now, I don't watch Peanut Butter Gamer that much uh, or ever, but I want to. And this shirt is actually really fucking cool. 
So yeah, I mean, I know Austin is a really cool guy and his, his stuff is cool, but I just never got into it. So that's one. Love it. I just like how it's the mask guy from Zelda and it just looks cool. Then there is this Samo shirt, which I think is cool. I've never played a Metroid game, but I want to, but I never did. So that happened and it's a cool shirt, but you know, I, I do play Samus in, um, what do you call it? Smash sometimes. So, I mean, I'm not sure how often I will wear this shirt, but I'm sure I'll wear it at least once. <laughs> but here come the real cool things. First of all, this Princess Mononoke shirt, which is really awesome. Um, I really like Ghibli movies, so they, they, I don't know how they knew, but they knew, and they sent me this, and I love it. More Ghibli stuff! There is the robot Totoro, which is both terrifying and adorable, and I think it's from the same, like, uh, set thing. Like, they do a new tea every day where you have only one day to order it. The other one is the cat bus robot guy. Um, it's like a steampunk thing. I think it's really cool. So those are the shirts I got in the mystery thing, the mystery thing, and I'm happy with those. I um, also ordered some stickers that I really liked from... they're designed by Drew Wise, and they are just... Um, pix they're called the Pixel Pals by Drew Wise, and they're like these cute stickers. Look at this Jigglypuff. Look at this Rosalina. Look at this. Um, I think they're just all um, um, Zelda, Mega Man, Yosh. Um. So these stickers, all really, really cute. And uh, they were, I think they're part of a Smash set, but I just thought they were adorable and I really like pixelated things. So I just ordered these with them so I can put them on whatever, whatever I want to put stickers on. Anything really. Um, where are we at? Right, um, you may or may not know that I'm a huge, huge fan of Miski and her art and I really need to open my door, one second. I'm a really big fan of uh, Miski's art. Now Miski is uh, an artist who makes a lot of t-shirt designs and stuff like that. I talk about her all the time, but um, I went on a Miski rampage, or a rampage. I, I let myself go when it comes to Miski last month. So first of all, this is a shirt I've wanted for a very long time. It is a Vaporeon shirt by Miski. I love it so much. And um, it just came out of the wash because it had like... I, I got it from a website that I didn't know beforehand, but the, um, the, the print felt really strange, so I washed it. Look, it has a little awake and a, and a sleepy Vaporeon. Cute! We all know that Vaporeon is one of my favorites, so... Uh, then, also, from that same website, so this also just came out of the wash, is this Yoshi shirt, which I just think is completely adorable. Um, we all know I love Yoshi, so there we go. A Don't Read the Comments shirt by Miski, which is a thing I should start living by, because I read comments too much and then I get upset, so... Um, don't read the comments by Miski. Love this shirt. I, I'm a huge fan of these uh, Society6 V-necks. Like, they are the best shit. So I, I now I have these. And I also have a Rosalina by Miski because it's just so fucking comfy. Like, these are the best. Also this one. It's a chandelier with a little um, Espeon and a little Umbreon on it as well. And fuck again, like, these shirts are so great. Go to Society6, order the V-necks, they are the best on your body. I I swear to you. And uh, last but not least, at Redbubble I ordered something for someone, and then I ordered this one for myself. It has a little cute Kirby in a pocket, and I just couldn't resist. I ordered a V-neck, and it's not as good as the Society6 V-neck. So let, again, get Society6 V-necks, they're super comfy. <laughs> Um, where are we? Where are we at? Right, um, these cover plates. I got the Pokemon original sprites cover plates for my 3DS. I didn't put them on my 3DS yet, but it's really nice and I like it. So there we go. Then Ed Game 
please calm my amazingly lovely best friend uh, saw this and was like, Hey Hilda, do you want this? And I was like, yes, I fucking want that. So she got that for me and um, look, I, it, it's a little cape, like what it, it's so cute. What? And uh, she also got me this Umbreon wallet. She got herself an Espeon. You may or may not know this, but she likes to compare me to an Umbreon and herself to an Espeon. And last but not least, I got so many Pokemon cards in the last fucking month that I had to buy myself albums. Uh, this is an album that has cards. Cards! These are all my generation cards. And, um... Generation cards, generation cards, and my promo cards are in here. What is this? I don't know what this is. They're my energy cards. And in this folder, I put all my other cards. These are the Steam Siege ones. A fate Collide. A f I don't know. What a fuck. It's too many cards. I got all of this in a month. And it's, it's really bad. So that's it, and uh, my battery is running out, so I'm just gonna say bye, bye. I'll see you next month. Actually, I'll see you this week because I, I upload videos every week, not every month. Bye.